What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Counting Wisdom Podcast. You know, I wanted to talk about Joseph. You know, Joseph was a man that he was a man of integrity. Um, he was an honest man. You know, we can see that in scripture that he did his best, best to tell the truth, you know. Um, and even when faced with, you know, very terrible circumstances, you know, he still honored God with his life. And Joseph um, learned that from his his dad. You know, Jacob was his dad. But he also learned it from God. He believed what Jacob told him about his God. You know, um, he was probably one of the family members of the few that really believed in God. Um, later, his brothers possibly believed in God, but um, Joseph was one of those people that he really embraced the riches of knowing God. Um, and I think we can learn a lot from Joseph's life, you know. Um, so Joseph had a dream. And you know, right off the bat, you know, we learn that we have to listen to uh, when God is speaking to us. You know, it could be through a dream. It could be through maybe a vision of somehow or through the word of God or just in your spirit. You know, you feel that God is telling you to do something that aligns with the word of God. And so Joseph, he believed God in his dream. The dream that God gave him, he he chose to believe it. And I think that's what really made it the dream come true is that, you know, he he decided to embrace, you know, believing in the word that God told him. You know, we we find that in scripture, how, you know, God is asking us to believe the word that, you know, um, God tells him, you know, and. Um, how many times we can start to just doubt, you know, if God is with us or is there. And so, um, you know, I think so many times we can um, just try to find a word from God. And really, he's speaking to us individually, you know, in different ways. And so we have to choose to believe that. <laughs> But anyway, Joseph had a dream and God told him through the dream what was going to happen in the future. And so um, he told his brothers, his brothers didn't like his dream. And so they became angry in their heart towards Joseph. So one day, you know, Joseph was going out to meet his brothers in the field and his brothers threw him in a pit. They were really going to kill him. But, um, you know, they threw him in a pit. They ended up so selling him into slavery. And um, he ended up working for uh, uh, someone in the Egyptian land. Uh, he, he got sold to Egypt. Um, so he went to Egypt and he became a slave worker. And so he worked his way up in the slave slave uh, industry and you know as a side note there's a lot that we can learn from the story of joseph that you know um can be pulled pulled from that story but one thing we can know is that you know joseph made the best of um his time when even when he was sold into slavery um he it showed through scripture that he, the evidence shows that he um, rose to the top, even from being a slave. And so, you know, I think that, you know, it's not always about just starting off at um, the top of the, the food chain, so to speak. Um, it's not always about, you know, starting off at, you know, the um, CEO or the boss, 
you know, and I've tried that, you know, I've tried starting my own business and, you know, oh, I don't want to work for many, for anyone. I want to work for myself. And really, you know, what I've started to believe is that there's a process, you know, we don't always just, you know, become the top of the class, you know, so to speak, um, you know, overnight. And so Joseph showed that, you know, even though, um, he was sold into slavery against his own will. Um, he showed that through just having a good work ethic, you know, you, you may not have to uh, really overexert yourself, but um, you have to do your best, you know, do what you can do. Try to follow the rules that work, you know, to the best of your ability, you know, um, but really what took him beyond his ability was through God's help. You know, God, when he was, since he honored God in his heart, you know, and, and was just, you know, receptive to the things of God, you know, God started to promote him little by little. But what happened to Joseph was that, you know, he ended up being falsely accused of raping the master's wife. Um, he started to basically be accused and really it started off from the master's wife wanting to sleep with Joseph and Joseph refused. And so then she f decided to falsely accuse him. And so, um, you know, that's a lesson in of itself that sometimes we run into situations where um, we are tempted with sin, you know, and Joseph could have decided to go ahead and give into the temptation. You know, we don't we are not told of how tempting it was. You know, we don't know what that person looked like or anything, but we're told that Joseph resisted the temptation you know and i guess i say that because depending on you know what the type of temptation is you know it could be more tempting or less tempting you know depending on who it is and or what the temptation is and so but joseph showed that you know he resisted it you know he he decided to go with the god and what's interesting is that it was before the laws of moses had begun that even Joseph, before the laws of Moses and the Ten Commandments, he knew that adultery was wrong, you know. And so he wanted to honor God. He wanted to say, no, you know, that's not that's not something that God wants me to do. And he cared about what God thought of him and his life. He cared about what God, you know, saw him doing. And so... um. You know, that's a lesson also of just how many times we can go through life and we don't care that God sees us. You know, we don't care about how we look in front of God. Um, I guess we care about how we look in front of people sometimes, but sometimes even then we don't care about how we look in front of people. And so Joseph ended up um, being thrown into prison and so that's a lesson of itself that sometimes even after being sold into slavery you know it got worse for joseph and you know our situation may not always get worse but it shows that you know sometimes you know before god turns around the situation you know he might even test you even more you know where he ended up being thrown into prison you know which is worse which is even lower than being a slave, you know, at least a slave uh, can kind of go about, uh, you know, in a little bit more freedom than a prisoner. But a prisoner, you know, has uh, l even less freedom than a slave. And so he began working even as a prisoner. Um, I guess back then they had jobs that you can work as a, you know, uh, prison uh, inmate. And I, I think they still do that today in some prisons. I think they 
you know, do have jobs. Um, I know I saw something in the news about how they're trying to kind of get rid of jobs because they, I guess they think it's slave labor or something like that. But anyway, um, Joseph got promoted even as a prison worker. And so um, we see that Joseph, you know, had a pretty strong spirit. And um, I think what we can learn from Joseph is that he still stuck with the word that he got from God. He still stuck with God. Um, you know, he's, he continued to have faith that God, you know, was working in his life. I'm sure there was moments where of darkness, you know, I'm sure there was moments of like, you know, God, get me out of here. You know, God help me. You know, he was probably praying that all the time, you know, but, um, you know, God brought him out, you know, the end of the story is that, you know, um, the, uh, Pharaoh, I believe it was Pharaoh had a dream and no one could interpret the dream, but Joseph had a spiritual gift and he used that spiritual gift and it ended up bringing him out of prison and promoting him to, uh, top, uh, executive in the kingdom of Egypt. And so he began to save the people of Egypt. Um, and I think that, um, there's, like I said, so many lessons that we can learn from Joseph, but, um, one of the things is just, we can learn dedication, you know, of, uh, you know, being a good worker, um, you know, being, doing good on the job. I think, you know, um, whether that be a stay at home mom, whether that be, you know, someone that's working for a company, or maybe you do own a company and you're dedicated, you have to be dedicated to, um, doing your best to uphold the integrity of, uh, the company's values and, you know, following, after doing the right thing in the midst of, you know, something bad happening to you, you know, and I think we all run into, you know, different troubles and situations and suffering that tries to get us to stop following God, to stop obeying his commandments, um, you know, and to stop, you know, trusting in Jesus. And, you know, we, we should have the end in mind that, you know, we continue on the journey, you know, even though there's things in the, in a path, in our path that try to deter us from this journey. Um, you know, Jesus, he went to the cross. He, he, he did it all. He suffered on our behalf, but he lived here on earth for a number of years too, and had everyday trouble, you know, not only, just trouble in his ministry, but I'm sure, you know, Jesus, you know, had trouble in his life, you know, before he even started ministry, you know, I mean, that's just a part of life sometimes is that, you know, maybe you need gas money, you know, that's trouble, you know, it doesn't have to be something huge. I mean, maybe you, um, you know, uh, stumped your toe or, uh, you know, you are looking for a better job and this, the job that you have, you know, is paying you like little, little amount to, uh, you know, uh, live on. And so those are different troubles. And so what we can learn is that, you know, Joseph stayed dedicated to being a good worker and to, uh, just, uh, making the best of his time, you know, and I think that's what we, we can do too, is we'll do well is that, Hey, we may not be able to, you know, change our circumstance of being here on earth and not in heaven. You know, we may not right now get the opportunity to leave, you know, there's really nothing that we can possibly do. I mean, Sure, we can pray to God and ask him to take us out of here. But, you know, not that God doesn't want to, but maybe 
that's not his plan for our life. You know, at the moment, of course, I believe in the rapture and that can happen too. But, you know, um, as far as making the rapture happen and going to heaven when we want to, you know, we may not have that that power. We we don't, you know. And so um, Joseph, he made the best of his time and he stayed working. He even when in prison, you know, they had jobs for him to do. And he didn't say, oh, I'm not going to do that. You know, and he, you know, humbled himself to be able to work. And so um, there's there's other lessons that we can learn from Joseph. Um, You know, he didn't hold a grudge, you know, towards uh, Pharaoh. uh, And he wasn't like, oh, you know, I'm not going to interpret your dream. You know, I'm going to tell you something that's not true uh, or you know, I'm not going to tell you to store up grain for you uh, for seven years. You know, why do I care about Egypt? You know, I'm not going to help you guys. And he didn't say any of that. He was like, okay, you know, I'll, I'll take the promotion. You know, I'll work for you guys. And, you know, I'll save Egypt, even though he didn't really have ties to Egypt. But yet he knew that, you know, Egypt was the place that pretty much the world was going to get their grain from, you know, um, I don't know all the different parts of the world back then where, where all people were, but he knew that, you know, the famine was touching outside of Egypt, you know, and has possibly he knew that, you know, his family was going to be affected by the famine. And so, what better position to have than that position of getting help from Pharaoh and while he helped others. And so um, the story of Joseph is very interesting. Um, And um, we can learn a lot from that story. So anyway, thanks so much for checking out this podcast. You know, hope it was interesting um, that we can remember to read over the story of Joseph and, you know, uh, remember him and just how he overcame suffering and trouble. Um, and when tempted, he did not give into that temptation, but decided to honor God instead of, you know, gratifying his fleshly desire. And, you know, he, God blessed him for that. And that's why he's so great is because, you know, he stuck with God. He committed to following God and God honored that. So um, thanks so much for checking out this podcast. And I will talk to you on the next podcast. See ya.